Voyager 1 seemed lost, but a new signal from the depths of space has now broken the silence and the longest-serving scientific probe is transmitting again. After a total failure in 2022 and renewed problems in 2023, the probe has resumed work. What will happen next? Voyager 1 is located in a quadrant of interstellar space that is of great interest to researchers. Every day, the probe transmits more exciting data about the landscape of the seemingly infinite space between the stars. The interstellar medium is still one of the greatest unknowns of the universe. Before Voyager 1 first entered this mysterious space, we knew very little about the true conditions that prevail beyond the boundaries of our solar system. If we want to complete our knowledge of the universe, we must investigate precisely these spheres. What is the incredibly vast emptiness that makes up most of the universe? What conditions prevail there? And are there previously unknown forces and quantities? Voyager 1 and its twin probe, Voyager 2, are invaluable to astrophysics when it comes to investigating the interstellar medium for the first time on site. More than 45 years after their launch, the probes have traveled more kilometers than any other man-made object, and they have ventured into areas where no scientific measurements have ever been taken. The two have traveled billions of kilometers, and every moment of that journey, the probes have sent data from the solar system and the universe beyond. An incredible amount of data has been collected over the years, and it will likely take generations of scientists to analyze it all. Of course, NASA hopes to keep the two exceptional probes operating for as long as possible. However, in recent years, there have been repeated concerns about the continuation of the mission. In 2021, Voyager 1 was only sending incomprehensible data, and researchers believed that the probe had been lost. That would have been unfortunate, as the batteries would need to provide enough power until the early 2030s to send at least basic data from the interstellar medium. After more than 45 years of reliable service, Voyager 1 was only sending data that was cryptically encrypted, and some UFO enthusiasts were already speculating that the probe might have been tampered with by aliens. However, this turned out to be a false assumption. An employee of the Deep Space Network, through which Voyager 1 and 2 communicate, decrypted the data jumble and called the all clear. No aliens were at work. The probe had simply lost a communication unit. NASA engineers corrected the error, and Voyager 1's journey continued. The first real images of Jupiter. It was pure magic when the first images of the planets Jupiter and Saturn flickered across our screens in the 1980s. Never before had humans seen the gas giants of our solar system so clearly. If we think back to that time, we have to remember that until the 70s, humans knew very little about what lay beyond Saturn. The first probes, such as the Mariners, delivered very blurry or very gray images of the planets in the immediate vicinity of Earth. Before that, there were only sketches or artistic interpretations of planets such as Uranus and Neptune. Photographic exploration of the solar system is around 70 years old, and 45 of those years can be attributed to the two Voyager probes alone. Hardly anyone is aware that we have only had a real photo of Pluto since 2015. Before the New Horizons probe, no telescope or other probe was capable of capturing a clear image of the planet beyond Neptune. Today, we are spoiled with colorful images from the depths of the cosmos. We have seen rows of colorful stellar nebulae, beautifully shaped galaxies, and even mysterious black holes have now been photographed. In the 1980s, the information situation was different. That was long before the launch of Hubble, the first space telescope that showed us the incredible diversity of the universe. Millions of television viewers were fascinated when the first images of Jupiter's cloud and storm bands were seen. Although the marbled surface was visible with good telescopes even before the Voyager twins visited, thanks to the probes, details such as the Great Red Spot became visible for the first time and it became apparent how turbulent Jupiter's surface really is. Only a few years later, Saturn appeared in all its glory before human eyes for the first time. The planet, which emits a strange silence, shone with its ring system, and here too, humans were able to see for the first time how diverse the planet's rings really are. After its primary mission, 
Voyager 1 flew far away and set course for the edge of the solar system. Voyager 2 used a gravity assist maneuver from Saturn and flew on to Uranus and Neptune. On January 24, 1986, Voyager 2 transmitted its first data from the vicinity of Uranus at a distance of about 81,500 kilometers. The probe not only confirmed the planet's extreme axial tilt, but also discovered a highly skewed and bizarrely offset magnetic field. Other highlights included the investigation of the moon Miranda, with its rugged surface, deep canyons, cliffs, and complex terraces. Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons in Uranus's vicinity and two fine rings. The planet's atmosphere also appeared surprisingly calm, with hardly any discernible weather phenomena. Three and a half years later, on August 25, 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune. The encounter revealed a completely different picture. Neptune presented itself as a dynamic, stormy planet with a similarly distinctive storm, which researchers christened the Great Dark Spot. The extreme wind speeds on Neptune surprised researchers, and the planet's storms, with speeds of over 2,000 kilometers per hour, are still among the highest wind speeds in the solar system. Voyager 2 also discovered a slanted and off-center magnetic field on Neptune, as well as six new moons, including Triton, Neptune's most famous moon, which orbits its planet in the opposite direction. Triton's thin nitrogen atmosphere was revealed, and the first images of the moon showed signs of active ice volcanoes. The last major discovery of the outer planets was a photo in which Voyager 2 also captured fine rings around Neptune. The APOC-making mission to Uranus and Neptune completely changed our image of these distant ice worlds. What were previously just faint points of light in the telescope turned out to be complex, living planetary systems with active atmospheres and diverse moons. The joy and fascination of the researchers was indescribable, and many of the images have now achieved cult status. After completing its primary mission, Voyager 2 also set course for interstellar space. The open space, the adventure continues. It must have been a spine-tingling moment when the data from Voyager 1 increasingly suggested that the probe was on the threshold of the solar system. Our sun envelops itself and all the planets in a shell of particles and plasma that researchers call the heliosphere. Until then, no one knew exactly how the boundary of the heliosphere was structured. Model calculations assumed a slow transition from the sun's sphere to open space much like waves breaking on a beach. But then, in 2012, came the big surprise. Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of the solar system with a violent jolt. The shell of our sun apparently formed something like a solid wall at its edges. A few months later, Voyager 2 confirmed the measurements. Since then, the picture of the interactions between the solar sphere and open space has been changing. You have to imagine that our solar system is not static in space. It travels through space at incredible speeds, and we rotate with our sun around the galactic center. As the sun and planets move, interactions occur between open space and the solar sphere. This data is of immeasurable value to science because it provides information about the forces and dynamics at work within galaxies and the forces that ensure, for example, the high degree of order. Data like this allows researchers to draw further conclusions about the forces that shape the universe and how structures work across the vast distances between star systems and entire galaxies. One of the most unexpected findings of the Voyager 1 mission after entering interstellar space was the measurement of particle density. Scientists had long suspected that the environment outside the sphere of influence of our sun was virtually empty with an extremely low concentration of charged particles. But the data from Voyager 1 proved the experts wrong. Instead of a near vacuum, the measuring instruments recorded a particle density of about 0.1 particles per cubic centimeter, more than twice as high as expected. Particularly astonishing were the fluctuations in particle density. Over several months, Voyager 1 repeatedly recorded short-term increases and changes as if the probe were gliding through finely structured, changing regions. 
this unexpectedly high density and the irregular measurement data raised new questions. Clearly, the interstellar medium is not uniformly distributed, but exhibits a complex microstructure with local concentrations and thinner areas. The irregularities may originate from ancient supernova explosions, previously unknown magnetic fields, or interactions with other stellar winds. Things became even more mysterious when Voyager 1 recorded plasma waves in the form of long, regular oscillations. The waves allowed conclusions to be drawn about the density and behavior of the charged particles, and the decisive measurements probably reveal the trace of a previously unknown phenomenon. This discovery has fundamentally changed our understanding of the interstellar medium. It is not a homogeneous void, but a dynamic, structurally rich field that could even have a long-term influence on the propagation of cosmic rays, interstellar magnetic fields, and perhaps even the solar climate. Current status. What is the real situation with Voyager 1? What can we realistically expect to see in the further course of the Voyager mission? NASA repeatedly reports severe malfunctions on both probes. In 2021, there was great anxiety. Then came another shock in the fall of 2024. Once again, Voyager 1 had such severe outages that hardly anyone had any real hope that the probe would ever send usable data again. After several months, the engineers were on the verge of giving up. Then came the incredible news. Voyager 1 was transmitting again. Voyager 2 was also causing problems. Given the age of the probes, this was to be expected. But now of all times, no one wants to lose them prematurely. Voyager 1 and 2 are currently still transmitting, albeit with severely limited functionality. Nevertheless, every single day that the probes transmit, researchers are still learning more about hidden structures and cosmic filaments. The further the probes venture into interstellar space, the more valuable and rare the measurement data becomes, but the more likely it is that they will be lost. Click subscribe now and be the first to see every new video.